Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Warzone Season 1, the, the Warzone from Black Ops Cold War. So first of all, we're going to make sure that we uh, update and make sure that everything on Windows is set properly. After that, we will look at your uh, GPU drivers. And finally, we will go inside of Warzone to look at the setting to get like the most performance with the uh, and not to decrease too much your image quality. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that game mode is at off. It's causing stuttering on Warzone. So really important to remove this. After that, capture. Make sure that background recording is at off. Recorded audio is at off. One last thing is the Xbox game bar. Make sure that the Xbox game bar is at off. Also, honestly, all those overlay, just remove them or disable them when you're playing Warzone. So if you're using the Discord overlay, NVIDIA overlay, AMD overlay, like don't use those kind of overlay. Uh, but you can use if you want MSI Afterburner, for example, to see like your FPS, CPU usage, GPU usage, uh, temperature and stuff like that. But don't use like uh, some fancy overlay that uh, promise you to give you a lot of different feature. It will make you lag. So that's about it. After that, write GPU and go to the graphic settings. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on and you will need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. Um, it will give you 3 to 4% boost if you have like an entry level or mid range computer. If you have like an high end computer, you will not see any difference in your FPS. After that, Really important, your driver. Make sure that you update your driver. Uh, so if you have NVIDIA, go in on the NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go on the AMD website. Really important to have the latest one. Even for Intel, go and download the uh, latest driver. Don't just update your driver with the search. Uh, the driver that window, Windows will give you, it's more like a driver to make sure that your video card will, uh, will be detected and you will have a proper resolution with your monitor, but it's not for video games. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, two uh, settings that I recommend. The first one is the power management mode. Make sure that you're using prefer maximum performance, really important. And uh, the other one is the low latency mode. Use the on, don't use the ultra, really important to use on. Uh, if you have an AMD car, I'm pretty sure you have uh, the same like parameter for the uh, power management. Make sure that you're using high performance. That's the only thing that you will need to change. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameter. So first of all, go to option, go to general. The only thing that I want to mention in general is the field of view. So uh, a lot of people is asking me, does it have an impact on your FPS? Yes, it can. If you're going with 120, you're seeing a lot of stuff in front of you. Uh, you need to render more. So sometimes you can lose a couple of FPS when you go too high with your field of view. For me, 90 feels perfect for me. So now let's go to the graphic. First of all, make sure that display mode is in full screen. Really important. I was losing FPS in Borderless, so really important to play full screen. After that, make sure that you have your proper display monitor. For people who have um, uh, a laptop, make sure that you have your video card because sometimes you have like your integrated video card on your CPU and you have like a dedicated GPU, make sure that you're seeing your dedicated GPU. If they're saying like uh, you're supposed to have a GeForce in your laptop, you're supposed to see GeForce over there. Uh, screen refresh rate, make sure that it's match your uh, monitor. So for me, it's 144. So that's good. If you have like a 60 monitor, it will be 60. After that, render resolution, go with 100. Uh, it will be one for one. F after my guide, you're still struggling with your FPS. You can't uh, lower your re render resolution to something like 95 or 90. But honestly, everything seems to go blurry after 90. So don't go too crazy with your render res resolution because you will not see anything. It's uh, it's pretty crappy, honestly. After that aspect ratio, I'm just playing automatic. If you have like if you want to play 60 by 10, you can't do it over there or 32 by 9. People who have like some widescreen crazy monitor. Um, after that, VSync, really important, go with disable, you don't want to create any input lag. Frame rate limit, I'm using a frame rate limit when I'm playing this game, I'm using 144. Make sure that like, if you want to use it, lock it with your Hertz. So for example, your monitor is at 60, go with 60 over there. And if you have like a 144, go with 144. It can be good like for people with um, a bad air cooling 
or just bad cooling in the computer. So for an example, you have a laptop. You, when you start to play the game, you're getting a nice 60 and sometimes you're getting some random dip. It's because like you have like a night temperature on your GPU or CPU. So your computers start throttling. So if you lock the FPS at 60, you, you will be better because you, anyway, your monitor is at 60 hertz. So you don't want to generate like 90 or 100 FPS and create more heat in your computer. So this is the thing that can help you if you have some struggling with your... Um, with um, some stuttering and you have high temperature when you play the game. After that, uh, Nvidia highlights. Make sure that this one is at disable. Uh, sometimes it can create stuttering also, so really important. Uh, reflex low latency. For, this one is a bit tricky. Sometimes I'm getting like random drop in my FPS and it feels like it's because of that. But I feel like they fixed it like for the past month. So enable plus boost for me, it's good right now. But uh, if you're losing uh, a lot of FPS because of that, go just with enable. Uh, by the way, if you have some issue with your uh, shader, this is the where you can like restart your shader and download it again after that texture uh, resolution and texture filter anisotropic just look at your vram usage so if you're good over there uh, just go with i uh, you see this is pretty much my maximum i have 8 gig of vram don't go too crazy don't put this bar like over there like make sure that you have 10 to 15 percent uh, empty uh, just to make sure that you're not creating any uh, stuttering particle quality not a huge difference between both sometimes i'm getting like stuttering mini lag is it the server is it <laughs> you, you never know with this game so i'm going with low but technically when you do your test i and low i'm seeing like a two fps difference but i'm still using low because you know you don't want any like drop in your fps when you're playing this game bullet impact and spray go with enable you want to see where you shoot and it's not like a big hug on your resources it doesn't take a lot of resources Tessellation, again, not like a huge thing on your uh, FPS, so you can go with all easily. On-demand texture streaming, you can go with enable. This is pretty much where you can uh, daily download the, the uh, download the limit. You can add like some limit if you have, you don't have a lot of space on your hard drive. So this is pretty much where you can like uh, deal with it. Streaming quality, go with normal. After that, shadow map resolution. This one is really important. If I compare extra to low, you can get 10, 10 to 12% in your FPS. So put this one at low. Cache pot shadow and cache on shadow really depend on your RAM. If you have 16 gig of RAM and more, go with enable. If you have less, disable this. Particle lightning, another one that can give you a lot of FPS. Ultra to low, a nice 8% boost. So go with low. For sure, rich racing disable. Don't use that. Ambient inclusion, another one that can give you a lot of FPS. If I compare both to disable, I'm getting seven percent boost over there. And screen space reflection, you can gain a nice five percent boost. After that, uh, if you go with anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing, a lot of people is playing SMAA One X. I really don't like the anti-aliasing in this game. I feel like my game is blurry, so I just go with off. Uh, first of all, you will you will have more FPS and your game will be more clear. So that's why I'm going with off. Same thing with depth of field. Use disable. You want your game clear. You don't want like some blurry stuff because you're focusing on... Uh, like for example, you're focusing on uh, a tank. Everything else will be like kind of blurry. So don't use that. Uh, film mix train, go with one. World motion blur and weapon motion, motion blur, remove that. You don't want to use motion blur. As you can see here in the picture, you will get some like uh, blurriness when you're move, moving with your gun. So very important to disable. And the last one is the film gram. I'm putting this one at zero. So that's about it for the guide. If you have any questions, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.